Hey guys, and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to render multiple clips, one after the other, from the same project. Okay, so for example here, I have my entire Let's Play, or not, well, the, the, the entire campaign of my Aliens vs Predator Let's Play, where I'm playing the aliens, uh, that was 9 episodes. So I have them all in here with intros and everything and outros and all that stuff. Um, let me just get in here, so like that, right? So I have everything in here, my intro, outro, everything for each episode. So I have all nine episodes in here. Now there's a way that we can render them all out. So it renders out the first episode, when it's done with that, it renders out the next episode and so on and so forth. Now, the way we do that is it's very simple. Now let me show you how we do this. So what I do is I uh, go up here, I can, if you hold down control, you can go up and, up and down like this. So you can see all the all the tracks you have, right? So if I double click on one of these, like that, right? Then I zoom in because then it will only highlight this clip here. So it hasn't gotten the intro in as you can see here. So I'll drag this all the way back. So I'm sure that it has the entire intro with it as well. And then go back to the end and then drag that one. So it fits like that, right? So uh, now we've made a loop region on this. Now the way that you do this is you push R on your keyboard. So push R, booyah, see now you, you can write something here. I'm just gonna write one and push enter. It doesn't matter what you write because it's, it's not, unless you have a script for it, you can get a script to do all this stuff as well. Uh, it's not gonna like call, call the, the video uh, Aliens versus Predator, uh, let's play uh, aliens episode one or whatever if you write something here um, but yeah so you do that we can do that with the next one as well double click there then zoom in make sure we can get that one like that so we get the intro in so a little more in so we are sure to get that one you can kind of see when it makes that yellow line that it, it will snap to it right so it got it all push R again call that one two and then Double click here, come on, double click. <laughs> then drag this one, like that. Take the end here, push R. I'm just gonna quickly do this with all nine of the episodes. Cause I need it, need it done anyways, right? So it's just super convenient that I was uh, editing a let's play anyways, right? <laughs> push R. Number four, just make sure, just zooming in. Yeah, that was right. Double click on that one, zoom in like that. Yeah, I could be super lazy and do this just really, really fast and not accurate and whatnot, but I need this done anyways. Double click. The thing is, I, I've, I've been used to, I, ah, way, way back when I started like, editing and stuff like that and making videos. I used to have several projects open at the same time, didn't just have like three videos rendering while I was sleeping or something. And this way it's just way easier to do. Um, Cause you can only have so many projects unless you have a really, 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 well, even my PC is very powerful, but with mine, I can't have more than like four projects open and rendering at the same time. Just make sure that one got to the end as well. Yes. Push R again. Call that one number seven. Almost done. Do like that. Come on, why did that snap back like that? Like this. Make sure that, it, yep, we got it all. So that's eight, right? R, eight. Just wanna make sure it really got it. Yes, we got it. And get that one like that. Like that. Just make sure we got it all the way to the yes, we did. Then R9 enter. There we go. See, now we have all these different green loop regions right here, right? So what we can do now is we can go up here to, uh, to two ups. Where the hell is it? There it is, tools, go to tools, scripting, 
batch render. So when you want to render like this, it's called batch rendering. Okay. So when you batch render, you go in here, new window will open in a few seconds. There you go. So you can select where you want it to uh, save to. So in my case, I want it saved to um, another drive actually to my D drive. And then I have one that's called rendered videos. Where the hell is that one? There it is, rendered videos. And then I'll just call it, uh, actually we'll just call it like that, right? Aliens versus Predator, let's play Aliens. And then, it, then it's gonna have an underscore. We're just gonna leave that there. And then click save. Then you wanna make sure that you, down here on these ones here, that it says render project, render selection, render regions. Select render regions, very, very important. Now, since uh, if you followed any of my other other tutorials where we've been over render settings and all this kind of stuff, uh, you have your templates in here. So, for example, with me, I like using either well, I like using uh, Windows Media Video. There's also another one I like using, but we'll we'll get into that in another tutorial. And um, so you just click the plus here, go down, find your your um, your template. So in my case, that would be either YouTube 1080p 16M or YouTube 1080p 24M. In this case, since this is a very high paced stuff, I will probably choose 24M. Now, when you click OK down here, it'll start rendering the first one out down here. When it's done with that, it'll continue to the second one until it's done with all nine of them. And this is very handy if you're if you're just want to render out an, an entire Let's Play while you sleep or something. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now since I, uh, I'm not. I have other stuff I need to do on my PC, but uh, but yeah. So if you click OK, you'll just set them all to render one by one. And um, I did it the other day like this as well. I mean, I've done it in the past, but I did it the other day with uh, an what was it? 18 episode Let's Play. I just rendered 18 episodes out when I was sleeping while I was sleeping. Very very handy, very convenient, and it's super. It's a super awesome way to do it when you're doing Let's Plays. Um, I sometimes do it as well with my uh, with my tutorials for this channel. Just get all the episodes in here and then just edit them all and then you know do the zooms and do whatever I need to do and then um, make these green loop regions and then batch render the whole thing out. That way I have a bunch of videos ready to be uploaded to YouTube. It's super easy. But yeah, I hope this, uh, this guide helped you guys out. Um, and explained what batch rendering is, because th this is really awesome. This is really awesome. I mean, you can do this with uh, Premiere and uh, Final Cut and stuff like that as well. But I believe, at least in Premiere, when you do it in, in Adobe Premiere, you have to have each project open and, and then you, you put them in a render queue and then you can batch render them out that way. But in this one, you can just do it in, in one project like this. Very convenient, but yeah. If you like this video, guys, please thumb it up and um, share the video with your friends. That would help me out a lot. That really helps me grow my channel if you if you share the video somewhere. And um, yeah, take care, have fun, and see you all in the next one.